standard third subject evs so students in the last lecture we have learned about air now we will be learning about food in a lesson number 12 a need for food mom what should i do today julie has not come to play off late she is too falling sick and off late she is too tired for running and playing with us nikita do she have a proper diet or if she is always eating sweets and chips and oily foods our body becomes healthy and strong if we eat nutritious food if we may do not take a proper diet so we may suffer from different kinds of diseases so students a baby's weight and height increases because of healthy diet if we don't take a proper diet we feel tired and experience lack of energy julie can't run and play because she has no energy energy what is energy look at tanish and nitin playing in the garden they are full of energy we need energy for different movements of our body so students eating the right food is very important to us food helps to repair the wear and tear of the body food helps the body to fight against diseases proper nutrition helps the body to work smoothly all living beings need food so students will all living beings eat the same type of food a cow eat grass so the cat eat grass too cat like to eat mice so will goat also like to eat mice food is required by all living beings so students the fibrous part that is the left after extracting oil from seeds such as oil cakes and bun and grass do you know students what is an oil cake and am bun oil cakes means groundnut sesam or cotton seed is pressed into slabs this is called oil cake am bun a fermented mixture of oil cake jaggery and coarse particles of grain mixed in water and used as animal feed all living things need food but all living things do not eat the same kind of food people who keep cattle feed them grass and hay and also oil cake and amban besides grass and hay horses are given bengal gram harbara soaked in water goats and sheep eat the leaves of various kinds of shrubs besides eating grass cats love to drink milk but they like mice just as much they also hunt and eat birds such as sparrows doves and pigeons dogs may eat chapatis or bhakris but they prefer to eat meat people who keep dogs or cats give them fish and meat also in forest animals like the deer bisons and nilgai eat various kinds of green grass and leaves if there are crops growing in fields nearby these animals finish off those crops too wild animals like the tiger and lion live in deep jungles they hunt other animals and eat their flesh usually these animals do not hunt in human settlements but sometimes when they are served they are forced to enter nearby villages then they kill and carry away cattle many times foxes dare to enter human settlements but they are not as strong as tigers they cannot kill cattle they are mostly content with stealing fowl 
द टायगर हंट्स अ लिव्हिंग अॅनिमल अँड इट्स इट फ्लेश अ वल्चर फिट्स ऑन द फ्लेश ऑफ डेड अॅनिमल्स अॅनिमल्स इट फूड दॅट इज रेडिली अवेलेबल इन नेचर वी सी मॅनी डिफरन्सेस इन वॉट अॅनिमल्स इट टू मॅनी बर्ड्स इट ग्रेन फार्मर्स ग्रो अ व्हरायटी ऑफ सिरियल्स अँड पल्सेस इन देअर फिल्ड्स बर्ड्स इन द सराउंडिंग्स कम इन द फ्लॉक्स टू फीड ऑन दॅम they can destroy the crop it is easily possible for birds to find grains in areas where people live that is why some birds live in such areas what is done by a farmer for such a destruction other birds feed on their kinds of food and eat earthworms crows eat the flesh of dead animals Some birds eat the fruits of the trees. What about the food of small animals? Red bug sucks people's blood. Ticks suck the blood of cows and buffaloes. House lizards and chameleons eat insects. Caterpillars and some insects nibble at and eat the leaves of plants. Butterflies feed upon the nectar they find in flowers animals eat the food they find in nature however they have the wander from place to place in search of food birds do need food but they cannot move from place to place in search of food plants make their own food the roots of the plants absorb water from the soil some substances from the soil are dissolved in this water this water reaches the leaves of the plants there are many tiny pores or openings on the surface of leaves they are so tiny that we cannot see them without our eyes air enters the leaves through these pores as air and water come together in the leaf In the presence of sunlight plants make their own food using water and air in the leaves The leaves cannot prepare food without sunlight A plant's food is made in its leaves sunlight is necessary for this process Plants can prepare their own food but animals cannot All living beings depend on the food prepared by plants so students now let us remember what we have learned in this lesson first all living beings need food second food help us to get energy to work for growth of our body and to repair the wear and tear of our body third animals search for their food and eat food that is available in nature Fourth, different living beings eat different types of food. Some animals eat flesh while some eat plants and leaves. Some suck the blood of another living being while some eat insects. Some insects feed on the leaves of plants. Fifth, plants prepare their food with help of sunlight and water. Thank you.